The very first Panther tanks were supplied to form Panzerabteilung, so Armored Battalion 51 and 52, in February of 1943. The first production Panther tanks were plagued with mechanical problems. The engine was dangerously prone to overheating and suffered from connecting rod or bearing failures. Petrol leaks from the fuel pump, as well as motor oil leaks from gaskets, produced fires in the engine compartment, which resulted in the total write-off of three Panthers due to fires. Transmission and final drive breakdowns were the most common and difficult to repair. But the early motivation for improving the Panther tank came personally from the concern of Adolf Hitler and others who believed that it lacked sufficient armor. Hitler had already insisted on an increase on its armor once early in the design of the original Panther back in 1942. Discussions involving increased armor, initially referred to as Panther II after April of 1943. This upgrade of the Panther tank increased the thickness of the glacier plate from 80 mm to 100, the side hull armor from 40 mm to 60. Production of the Panther II was slated to begin in September of 1943. As early as February of 1943, the chief design engineer of Mann suggested redesigning the Panther II and incorporating Eastern Front combat experiences. The total weight would have increased to more than 50 tons. A number of engines were under consideration, among them the new Maybach HL234 fuel injection engine. This engine would have given the Panther II an increased 200 horsepower, which would have made it faster than its predecessor though it was heavier. Thus, plans to replace the original Panther design with the Panther II were already underway before the very first Panther had even seen combat. But from May to June of 1943, a final meeting was held at Mann, where it was decided that production of the Panther II would have ceased and work would focus on the original Panther tank. The most significant change was the brand new turret. Evidence exists that as early as November of 1943, efforts were being made to significantly redesign the turret of the Panther tank. The primary reason for this were to improve the design of the gun mantlet and also to reduce the overall frontal area of the turret. Initial investigations into the new design were undertaken by Rheinmetall Borsig with the added requirement of incorporating a rangefinder into the turret. By March of 1944, Plans had been drawn up fulfilling these requirements, while keeping as many of the internal components unchanged from the Panther Ausführung A, so A version turret. This design was referred to as Turm Panther II Schmale Blanden Ausführung, or Panther II turret narrow mantlet version. The official designation recorded in a document dated the 20th of November 1944 was Panther Turm Ausführung F or Panther Turret F version. 
This turret was more heavily armored than the previous model, yet slightly lighter. The frontal area of the turret was reduced, presenting a smaller silhouette to incoming fire. The wide curved gun mantlet of the earlier turret had been replaced with a conical shaped mantlet of the same Zaukopf or boar's head. A lower and thus less vulnerable commander's cupola was also fitted. The manufacturing time was reduced for the turret itself, excluding armament and equipment, by approximately 30%. In addition to a conventional telescopic gun sight, a stereoscopic rangefinder was fitted in the turret roof. The effective range of tank guns was gradually increasing, which led to a requirement for accurate range finding at longer ranges, so that the required muzzle elevation could be determined. Efforts to combine a range finder and gun sight had failed. Chosen for inclusion in the design was a stereoscopic range finder still under development by Zeiss, but nearing completion, where the range determined by the rangefinder would automatically transfer to the gun sight. During early 1945, development continued in a hurry, even while Germany was losing ground rapidly. Meetings in January and February began the development of mounting an 8.8 cm gun in the Panther Schmaltur. To facilitate the mounting and operation of the larger weapon, the turret ring required a 100 mm increase in its diameter. The tank would have carried approximately 70 rounds of the 8.8 .8 cm ammunition, 15 of which would have been carried in the turret. Progress on this project got as far as a wooden model mock-up before the end of the war. It had been anticipated that if all went smoothly, production was to start during the last quarter of 1945. Two prototype models of the Schmalturm were mounted on a Panther Ausführung G, so G version bodies, for evaluation. This configuration was to have formed the Panther Ausführung F or F version, along with an increase in armor thickness for the hull roof and other relatively minor modifications to the construction and systems. The Ausführung F was scheduled to have started production in March of 1945 at the Daimler-Benz works with production at Krupp and Nibelungenwerke beginning in April of 1945. It strongly appears that production of the Ausführung F had not commenced at any of the plants by the cessation of the hostilities, although the evidence to confirm this is less than clear. At least two examples of the Schmalturm were recovered for evaluation by the Allies at Daimler-Benz plant in Berlin. One was transported to the Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland, USA, the other going to the Royal Armored Corps Bovington Camp, Dorset, England. The reliability problems of the Panther particularly in the early stages of its operational history, are well known. Had the Schmalturm turret entered production on the Ausführung F or on the Panther II, then a more potent main battle tank would have appeared on the battlefield. But in that late stage of the war, Germany was rapidly running out of materials, manpower, and production capacity, it is very questionable whether the technical advantages of the German designs 
had over their opponents would have made any significant difference. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.